The Prime Minister landed in Popandeta to a welcome of relief as locals rushed to get a glimpse and feel of the Prime Minister. In a quick briefing with the provincial administration and business partners, the visiting party was briefed on the extent of the damage caused by heavy rain since the 6th of January. The team were then taken on an aerial view of the impacted areas. The destruction of the Giroa Bridge has further worsened the situation, cutting off access to and from key areas. Many people have been displaced and there is now a desperate need for shelters, medical supplies, food and clean drinking water. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill says the money will be released as soon as possible to get people back on their feet. Uh, the sooner we attend to particularly the Giroa Bridge and the other maintenance of those key roads uh, is important so that the, uh, the economic life and the uh, well-being of our people are being uh, attended to. One million kina will go towards relief of food supplies, logistics and transport, while four million kina goes towards the reconstruction of the Giriwa and Kumusi bridges and various road maintenance. Governor Jufa thanked the Prime Minister and said he will make sure the money will be used in a responsible manner. For PA, on my part, I am directing you and your officers, you must put together an oversight committee to ensure that whatever funds are given, they are expended in such a way that they reach, one, the people that are affected and the persons that need it, and two, that we are able to acquit for them. Both men also discussed a restructuring of the Aura Restoration Authority so that funds get to the people who need it. Cedric Pajole, National MTV News.